Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. I'm just doing a quick review for Song Beater, quite my tempo. Little underrated game this is. Um, it's available on App Lab, so obviously not the official Oculus Store, for £10.99 or $15, I think it is. Loads of options in it. Um, you've got a single player where you can just play the songs. You've got a multiplayer. You've got a championship where I think you box with other people. Quick play where it'll play a random song and a 360 mode. I mostly play the single player mode. But there's a ton of settings. You can change the graphics, the audio, um, party manager, custom songs, obviously. Um, it's good. The, obviously, the biggest selling point, I think, for this game is the custom songs. Um, obviously, being able to download and play your own songs is pretty good. In order to do that, you need to download them from the... I think the address is bsaber.com, just letter B, Saber. So basically, it uses Beat Saber custom songs, and then it converts it into a, into a song. Um, the good thing about it, yeah, you've got loads of options. You can do a fit box... You can do a saw, you can do a staff, you can do blades, phasers. This phasers is pretty useless. I wouldn't do that one. And whatever that is, tonfaz. Um, I've got so I've got loads of custom songs on there so far. Um, I'll, I'll take you through a, a class in a minute. Um, yeah, good and bad points about it. It's the good thing is yeah, it's nice to box. Um, I'm going to do a box class. Uh, hang on, let's move it back to Fitbox and we'll do a gentle song uh, and I'll take you through it. Hang on, we go. do chicane, pop a holler. So basically, this is how it works it's, it's a punch motion, so you can punch. However, as a lot of people have pointed out, you don't have to, you can just do that, uh, sticking your arms out, which again kind of defeats the purpose of it. That is a big down point of it, is that you don't have to punch, but you kind of get out of it what you put into it, really. So if you don't want a box, you don't have to box. But I do. And you obviously the calorie count is there on the right hand side, extremely generous calorie count, so take it with a pinch of salt. But all in all, it is actually a really fun game. It's worth it for 11 quid. You've got the custom songs, you've got the online multiplayer, you can change it to blades, so you can cut the song notes. Um, I prefer the boxing. Um, yeah, all in all, it is a really good game. Um, but yeah, it's disappointing. Some of the songs and notes overlap, so you just end up just sticking your arm out like that. Whereas if they they could have made this a lot better, they should have done it where they spaced the notes out, so you actually physically have to hit not line them up, which a lot of the songs do, which is a bit of a downer, like this, you know, like, you're just going to do that if the notes come at you, this is a particularly calm song, but some of the songs get ridiculously stupid, and that's where I think the developers messed up, they could have had a real fit XR alternative here, see I'm already getting out of breath though, um, but in the end it just ends up being a a game that you just stick your arms out. But again, they say, if you play on lower difficulties, that's the best thing to do with this game. If you play on lower difficulties, you can do more boxing. The higher the difficulties, the faster the notes come at you. And obviously, the, the speed of the notes, you can't box. Um, let's give it a best quit. Um, there's many different environments as well. So yeah, so you've got a lot of songs. Um, let's have a look at some of the environments. So yeah, you've got all these lovely environments you can do, as you can see, Dark Island, Winter, The Deep, this is a lovely one actually, this one's quite nice graphics, with the Quest 2 this is incredibly nice graphic, and you can ride on the back of a dragon while whacking song notes, what more do you want eh? Um, but yeah, so all in all, good game. I'd give it, probably if I was to give it a rating, I'd say it'd be about 7 out of 10. It could, it, what frustrates me most about this is it could have been a really good game if they just focused on the boxing, spacing the notes out, and then this would have been a Fit XR competitor because you've obviously, having custom songs is fantastic. But 
yeah, unfortunately. But if my our advice, if you were to buy this, play on the lower difficulties to get more of a box. You play on the high difficulties, did you just stick your arms out and flail notes, which is bad. But yeah, could have been a great game, but it's just a fairly good game. I said, I think when I first played it, I was sort of like, wow, this is amazing. And I sort of, the past few days, I've gotten a bit more used to it. And yeah, it's, it's not as good as I first thought, but it's still pretty damn good. And I'd recommend it if for, what, 11 quid, custom songs, do lots of different things. Uh, yeah. Give it a bash. It's, good. it's a good compliment to Synth Riders or Fit XR. It's not a beta of Fit XR, that's for sure, but it's fun. Uh, so yeah, give it a go. Any got any questions about it? Let me know. But yeah, all in all, good game.